Hello again, friends. We continue to hear reports of the effects of COVID-19 on the lungs over the long haul. And I suspect that as time goes along, there'll be even more reports of troubles after such severe illness in so many. Our lungs are so precious, aren't they? God has designed them to bring oxygen that we need into our blood and our cells so we can live and grow. And at the same time, to remove carbon dioxide that needs to be flushed out of our system. Breathe in. Breathe out. We do it all day long, unconsciously for most of us, unless we have breathing problems. God's design for our respiratory system is amazing. God also has a similar spiritual life-giving system for us, hearing and doing. Jesus told us about it in the little story of two builders, one wise and one foolish. The wise person listens to what Jesus says and puts it into practice, and life is as steady and sure as a house built on solid rock. But those who simply hear but don't do anything with what they hear, they are like those who build a house on sand that is vulnerable to the next high tide. Anyone who listens to my teaching, the Bible says, and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the flood waters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it's built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. So, let's ask God's help today so we can become those whose lives are solidly built on bedrock. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for creating us, loving us, and making a wonderful plan for each of us, which you are more than willing to communicate to us clearly every single day of our lives. Your word tells us don't just listen to God's word, you must do what it says, otherwise you are only fooling yourself. Help us, Lord, to take time to come to you and learn what you have to show us. Anything outside of your will is evil because it harms and breaks down. We may not see it in a moment, but it is surely happening. Anything that is done in your will is full of life and hope and blessing. The Bible says God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. O oh Lord, shine the light of your truth into our hearts, our behavior, our attitudes, our words, our relationships, our work, everything about us. And where we are not living as you intend, give us the humility and grace to make any necessary changes. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord my rock, and my redeemer. Amen. Well, it's wonderful to be outside, especially near this little pond and all the trees and breathe in the fresh air. But no matter where we are, what circumstances seem to bring our way today, I pray that we will willingly hear and follow all God's wonderful instructions that bring us life and health. Have a great day.